not. Uh, Donna Fandango is here. It's been a long time <laughs> since yeah. she's had a uh, Week in Rage on this radio program. So a lot of stuff has been kind of... Yeah. I got four pages, man. <laughs> we, gotta, we, 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 we might have four to do this kind of quickly. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Four All pages. Right. I got a four. lot. I did so. go uh, like bigger on the type because I'm getting older, but I mean, still, there's four pages. All right, Donnie's got some stuff to tell us about. Go ahead, buddy. All right, let's uh, let's begin with a couple of things that are a bit silly, but still, they they listen. If you expect me to eat ten or more nuggets or three or more tenders and only get two cups of honey mustard, I am not able to do that. That is insulting <laughs> to me, and I don't want that. Here, if it's a, if it's a six piece, okay, that's fine. But listen, man, you gotta you I slather them up, man. So two is a bit on the insulting side to me. So we start there. Uh, here, something I need to hear more about. The rally cat. I, I just need. I just need to hear more about it because I haven't heard it enough. It's such a cute little cat. Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna stay? I don't care. Somebody's house. Just take care of the damn cat so that I can stop hearing it about it again. Uh, also, too. Let's see where we go next. Um, I think I'm probably the only person in the United States of America, and I realize this is an unpopular opinion, and I don't care. I don't care about the eclipse on Monday. I'm going to watch it on TV. I'm going to see what happened on TV. The kids are going to get the science lesson at school, which was all I was concerned about. It pays me no difference at all. At but all. Donnie, you don't realize we're in the path of totality. <laughs> <laughs> now are you in? I just, no, I'm still, I'm, I'm Thank still you, not Donnie. in. Thank you, Donnie. And anything that can burn my eyes out. I don't know, man. That just seems like a bad time if a mistake's made with the glasses or something. And I have too much anxiety to let that thing Thank ride. you, buddy. A uh, couple of things uh, here as well. Uh, I'm very happy uh, that you guys, you weirdos, that you like this rage. I do. But I wonder what kind of sicko wackos you are that one of your favorite things that I've ever done for this radio station is me just losing my mind for five <laughs> minutes at 41. But regardless of, I appreciate that you like it. And uh, hopefully this one will, uh, will make you happy today as well. Uh, my brother is a great guy. I love him. He's about five years younger than me. He's a great uncle. He's a good son. Uh, take a bullet for him kind of thing. However, my brother is single. My brother doesn't have any kids, all right? So my house, from 340 until 9 o'clock, it is a dead sprint until we can get these kids to bed. You guys know how it is. Yeah. There's reading, and there's baths, and there's dinner, and there's homework, and there's everything. So my brother calls as soon as he gets off work. I don't answer the phone. What happens? Five minutes later, he calls again. I don't answer. What happens? He calls again five minutes later. I finally answer. I'm irritated because he keeps calling me when I'm trying to do six other things. And then his response to me in the most passive-aggressive tone ever is, why are you so mad? Uh, why, why are you so mad? I love you so much. Why are you so mad to me? God dang it. And plus two, I think there's an eclipse that follows that guy around wherever he goes because he has the most gigantic head on any person I've ever seen in my life. He probably wears a size nine in hat, if that is at all possible. So if you miss the eclipse on Monday, go to work with my brother. Hang out with him outside. I'm sure it'll probably happen again. I do love you, Aaron. He'll lock out the sun um, with his giant cranium. Hey, this uh, fidget spinner thing can stop really any time now. I want to see the science that says that this is like a good thing. Maybe it is out there. Maybe they do calm you down or whatever, but I honestly find this to be absolutely ridiculous, and it is totally the pet rock of 2017. And if you are in a band and you put out a fidget spinner, I am O-U-T out. I am gone. Like, you're gone. Please stop. I gave Donnie a fidget spinner to calm him down, and he started six fires. Uh, speaking hey, of bands, Greek fire <laughs> you order. know that I love lots of different kinds of alternative music. I like a wide spectrum of things. I am so tired of hearing of Arcade Fire and LCD Sound System that they're reinventing music and that they're doing something all this groundbreaking it is overhyped to me I know that's not a cool thing to say but you know what I'm not cool so it doesn't really matter I find both to be incredibly incredibly overhyped hey record companies crazy idea when you're sending out a new single I don't need seven emails about it one will do just fine okay <laughs> the other six immediately get deleted I had the new I got the new group love sent to me yesterday we're out at Ikea, we're running around like crazy, my phone's popping off left and right, and it's all a group love single that I had gotten two minutes before. So I just think that we could be a little bit more efficient record companies, but I think a lot of us have been saying that sort of thing for quite some time. I haven't met our new neighbors yet that live across the street, but boy, I don't think I've made such a great impression uh, so far. Uh, on Monday, uh, I was moving all kinds of stuff, we were getting ready to go to the kids' open house, 
And so I'm sweaty. So in the garage, I change my I change my shirt. All right, but there was a second that the fur was out. Okay. okay. <laughs> I look across the street. Did your neighbors already see your nipples? Neighbors absolutely looking right at me. And then yesterday, I'm talking to my father-in-law. We like have a median in front of our house, so this is like on the other side of the median in front of their house, and we're talking and talking, and there's this car that pulls up, and it just sits there. Well, it's this lady trying to get into her driveway. I feel real bad. She drives by. I give like the wave and the smile. Nothing. 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 Uh, I got to look away. This is great. This is going to be payback right. for me hating the tart people so much. That's what it is. It's payback is a bitch, you and that's to what. Wait the, at least two weeks until your new neighbor see your nipples. That's the I mean, I think that's 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 I, I mean, that's in the county. You're in the county, that. right? That's, yeah. that's, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, a couple more things here, real quick, and I'm not going to go on for forever here. Uh, I, I saw this great story that Derek Gould tweeted out the other day about a guy at Fenway catches a foul ball. He gets up, he looks for the nearest kid around him, and he gives the foul ball to the kid. I would never do that in a thousand million years. If it's the one time in my life that I catch a foul ball, I'm not giving it to my kids. Let alone a stranger's kids. <laughs> and also, the boss just walked by. Emails with the smiley faces need to stop now. <laughs> now. They need to stop. I know we're friends. You're a good dude. I don't want smiley faces in my work emails from my boss. I just don't. And they're the real emojis, too. With I, a semicolon, as Winky one semicolon. I, I, and, I, he, and he, it's both. It, it's it's both of those things. All right. Um. Uh. Real quick, and then I'm going to get on to you fools. Oh um, no, we're at the end. Uh, okay. Local bands. Uh. Before you have roadies, shouldn't you make sure your band is good first? I think that might be a real good. I think that might be a real good thing. I don't know. I don't know when Story of the Year first started getting roadies, but I would think that when a band first initially gets going, they want to make sure that, you know, they have songs, they have stage presence before they start bringing these other people around. And then once they bring these other people around, I think you should be very careful with who you choose as your roadies. If they are harassing the band that is on after you, maybe you don't have good people with you, and maybe you need wow. to lose them because that makes your band look absolutely absolutely terrible. So I'm just saying maybe a crawl before you walk sort of situation. <laughs> so this all started uh, when I, there was one particular thing that was happening last week or earlier this week that I thought in the week in rage, I'm definitely going to mention. And then I started thinking as the week goes on, you know what? I'm not just going to single out one of these fools. I've got something with all four of you guys that oh, I can blast no. on. So I figure we're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, my first thing that I thought of comes with Moon. <laughs> Matchup with Moon. I love hearing you guys play trivia. Yeah, it is yeah, yeah. absolutely fascinating. My God, why does it take you so long to answer a question? <laughs> you him and haw like no one I've ever heard. And I'm sitting there, and I'm and I'm sitting, and I'm just going, answer the question, man, even if it's wrong. It'll be, uh, so what is the state, or what is the country that the United States uh, invaded uh, after 9-11? Uh, who? Uh, That's well, so you, bro. It's That's how my mind um, works. It's and then it's and then the thing and then and then you go on to the next question and then he goes back to the first question before it. <laughs> <laughs> also, anytime you guys need a fill in for Matchup with Moon, I'm in. I love it. Right. Oh, okay, oh, uh, let's right. let's move this on. Hey, uh, Tony, why is it that when I need to put copy paper in the goddamn printer that I have to cross through the jungle that is Jungle Patrico over there on your side <laughs> with wires and keyboards and two screens and to top it off a cup with your face on it. I'm the just trying. I am just I trying to put paper in the printer. You I'm not able to do that. Don't defend it. I have let to defend it. The cup is mine, but everything else is not let mine. Let him go. Donald. All right, Riz. Do me next. Yes. Uh, crazy idea here. Might just work. <laughs> when the system is in automatic, it will play the next element. Mm -hmm. When you leave the system in manual, nothing will play, therefore dead air will happen. Uh -huh. I drive off listeners plenty on my own. I don't need your help. So just the the the, the automatic will let the stuff play. Oh, we're talking about crossover? Yes, correct. Okay, so when, correct. I'm, and when I'm done, put it in auto? Yes, please. If you would, that'd be great. Also, hey, Jeff Burton, it is not my job to tell you the set times of every single freaking show that comes to St. Louis. I know the information. You know people that can get you the information. So as I'm trying to move heavy boxes on Monday, I've got Jeff Burton blowing me up on what time Catfish and the Bottleman goes on stage. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. I like to help you guys as much as I can, but Jesus H, man, there's some times that, you know, you can figure it out on your own.
I think he was and asking for And the set for times for Mojo are already posted for tomorrow, so you don't even have to ask. Can you send me those? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, and then, listen, here, this is the very final thing, and it's kind of serious, uh, but but I think it's something that we can all agree on, all right? Whether you've liked some of the things in, in the rage or not, listen, here's one thing. My grandfather was a hero. My grandfather fought in World War II. My grandfather fought against Nazis. My grandfather fought against these terrible people. We, as people, cannot move backwards, man. Like of all of, we have, there's so many things that we can that we can have differences on politically. But for Christ's sake, this should be the easiest thing for us not to disagree on. All right, Nazis, racists, equal pussies. That's it. We should all agree with that. Move on and go on with our day, ladies and gentlemen. Week and rage is coming. That's it. Yeah. 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 Week and rage done. You feel good? I got to get in better shape.